Hey Bob, it's Wolfgar. Today is day 30, the last day of Savvy Sexy Social Vlog Every Day in April. I'm gonna go over the three secrets I've learned about vlogging and the three surprises I found along the way. Also, I'm going to announce the winner of the Name My Bike Contest. So stay tuned. Hey Bob, if this is your first time here, please subscribe so you can stay updated with all the things going on around me. Today is day 30, the last day of the Savvy Sexy Social Vlog Every Day in April Challenge. If you want to catch up with day one, I'll put a link on a card here. All right, let's just get to it. Three things that surprise me most about vlogging every day in April. Number one, this is a lot more work than I thought it would be. I've touched on this before, but it should probably be repeated. Getting my footage, even just enough for five minutes of edited content, is a ton of work. Then you throw in the editing and uploading and the YouTubing and just to get it the way you want it, forget about it. You're looking at several hours per day. If you want to vlog, you'd better come up with every shortcut you can. Every method of cutting corners, do things in one take, batch your filming together into one day, minimal effects, etc. Anything you can do to shave time off will pay dividends down the road. Okay, number two, the thing that surprised me, just because I want to film it doesn't mean others want to watch it. That's right, you need to appeal to a broad audience. You can be the coolest person in the world, but if you don't put up the things that people like to watch, you're not going to be seen by anybody, therefore you're not going to be subscribed to by anybody, and then it really doesn't matter how cool your stuff is. And the number three thing that surprised me, I lead a fairly mundane life. The highlights of my day are bike rides and going to Sam's Club for meds. If you're Casey Neistat and snowboarding in New York City during the blizzard of the century, you are fairly exciting. But the rest of us, we walk the parks and go to the church benefit dinners. And that's okay. So, what are some of the things you've learned, Wolfgar? I'm glad you asked, Bob. First thing I learned is that it's far better to have a plan, or at least a focus, for your vlogging. Making your daily vlog about one or two things at most, and then just do five minutes combined on them. Any more than that, and you're just, here's what I did today, and here's what I had for dinner, and blah, blah, blah. Boring. Second thing I learned was that I say um, and ah, and okay, a lot. Lot. Much more often than I thought I did. You can jump cut those bits out, but it's a lot less editing and work if you just don't speak them in the first place. I'm currently trying to train myself to stop and just take a breath whenever I feel an uh coming on. Third thing I learned from this month, don't watch the numbers. Seriously, just don't do it. I know everyone preaches that and everyone says they won't, but we all still do it anyway. Do it for the love of the thing, not for the numbers or the money. If you start doing it for the numbers, you'll agonize over every subscriber, every view, and that takes your focus away from making cool stuff. As for the money, LOL. I think my AdSense revenue last time I checked was approximately a dollar for the month. So those are the three things that surprised me during Veda and three things I learned. What are the things on your list? Ask me in the comments below and I'll respond. So I promised I would reveal the name of the winner of the Name My Bike contest. And the winner is da 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 Red Racer sent in by someone named Phoenix. Thanks, Phoenix, whoever you are. You can brag for the rest of your life that you helped me name my sweet, sweet ride. Thanks again. Honorable mention goes to Amy Sater with her suggestion of Bikey McBike Face. Great one, Amy. Thanks everyone for participating. Okay, Bob, I'd better wrap it up. Please consider subscribing for more content like this. Give this video a like if you liked it because it helps me determine what else you'd like to see. And finally, please leave me a comment.